Hi, I'm Doreen Carden from Munster Bovine and we're continuing on our uh, Breeding and Fertility Focus 2020 and um, what we've covered now so far is you're planning the breeding season, you've already decided you're making start date and you've made sure the cows are actually fully fed. Now, so this season, Dennis, there has been quite a lot of milk fever around, do you know what I mean? And cows have had quite a tough spring because it's only, do you know what I mean, around the, from the 20th of March on that a lot of cows actually got to grass with the fine weather. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose what we're talking about really is the usual suspects. We call them the usual suspects. Um, so what are the usual suspects? They're, they're cows that have any problem really during the spring. So no, what do you mean by any problem? What do you call a problem? So hard you? calving is, is one anyway. Um, retained afterwards, so they've held on to their cleaning. That's two. Then you mentioned it already. There was, there was a lot of milk fever around. So any cow that had a milk fever, a left displaced, that would amaze them. And any other problem really, whether it was E. coli, mastitis, or any problem, if she looks sideways at you, I think they fit into this category of the usual suspects. Or any cow that when you were walking along the cubicles for the last week or so, you saw quite a dirty discharge yeah. from them actually in the cubicles. Absolutely, so keep your eyes open, if you see a discharge, write her down and she's... So it's all about record keeping to, to make a list of these cows. Um, and I suppose what we want to do with them, we're three or four weeks out now, these cows are more more likely to have a uterine infection, so they're more likely to what we might call dirty cows or, or be dirty And cows. I suppose in this, to that list of cows, you'd also add cows that were milking very heavy and they had lost a lot of weight? You could, yeah, they're, they'd fit in there as well. So they're, if they've lost a lot of weight, they're going to be under more pressure, their immune system is going to be not as strong as, as, as other cows, so just by that fact alone, that they're, they're, you know, they're at a higher risk of having an infection. Okay, so what we're basically saying, her donor has set, set the mating start date for the 29th of April, yeah. we're now four weeks out from it, mm -hmm. and what you're saying is pull out all these usual suspects, yeah. as in cows, difficult calvings, retained afterbirths, milk fevers, E. Yeah. coli, left yeah. displaced that yeah. Yeah. discharges, or high yielding cows that have lost a lot of weight. But what can we do with them? I'll pull them out for you. What can you do with them? So look, I, it's a great opportunity to, to call your vet and make an appointment and actually present these cows to be checked out. So I suppose, what are you going to do then? What are you going to do to diagnose these cows? So one, one option is scanning them, so ultrasound scanning these cows. You get a great, what did that tell me? You get a great view of the uterus, so you can actually see is there any infection inside the uterus? Is there any sign of endometritis? Is there any sign that these cows are dirty? If they're dirty, they're going to have a much less chance of going in calf. Um, another option is metric checking, where you can actually do both. You know, I used to do both. Um, because some cows you might be unsure in the scan, some cows you might be unsure in the metric check. So, you know, both is an option. Um, so actually find out if these cows have an infection. That's the first thing. And you want to treat these cows early. You don't want to wait till during the breeding season to, to find out these dirty cows and treat them. You want to treat them now, because the sooner you treat them, the, the quicker you can cure them, the quicker they can go back cycling, you're going to have a healthy uterus um, and have a better chance of going calf. Okay, so pull out all these usual suspects of what we've said, yep. get them into the crush there some morning after milking, yep. set up an appointment with your vet, yep. and your vet will come out and he'll scan them, and he'll metric check them, yep. and what you also said, Dennis, is these cows, time, we haven't got the time to actually give them the time to heal themselves. We need to act now because we want to breed them in three to four weeks. Exactly, we're compact calving, we're a seasonal based grass system, so we don't want to be hanging around. We want to take action quickly, and this is our team right through the breeding okay, season. So, what action. treatment will we give these cows, Dennis? So I suppose the most common treatment, and there's a licensed treatment there called, called Metricure, so it is an intra uterine antibiotic with no milk withdrawal. Um, really, you can use it from 14 days on, but at any stage, really, up to you know before breeding. Um, so, it's similar, really. AI technique is required to, to put that pipette in through the cervix into the womb um, and it works very well. Okay, so what we're basically saying is make an appointment with your vet, yeah. put, go through your records, mm -hmm. pull out those usual suspects, yeah. get them into the crush, your vet can come out, he can work independently there on his own and yeah. scan them depending on the facilities yeah. and metro check them yeah. and then the ones that actually need metric your Either the vet can put it in on the day, yep. or if he hasn't got them on the day, he can leave them with you, yep. and your AI technician will come out and put them in subsequent. Back. Exactly, so there's, there's a couple of options there. Yeah, so I think it's really worth doing it in time. I think time is, is the critical thing to do it well in advance, or three or four weeks out now, to do it now, not, not be waiting, do it now. And there's lots, there was research done in New Zealand on the metric checking and the metric curing, and they found that when it was done earlier, um, the earlier you did it, the better the results were. Because this is a race against time, because in four weeks we want to breed these cows and we yeah. want to clean uterus yeah. so the embryo can develop and result 
in a pregnancy that will actually maintain itself and yeah. we won't end up with a lot of embryonic death. Yeah, and avoid a cow, a mature cow may be leaving the herd just because she had a case of milk fever or, or had a heart attack. Because we need to keep 82% of these cows actually yeah. in the herd. Yeah. And also, Dennis, when the vet is out going through, any cow that he sees fit to go on once a day milking, we can tape their tails and put them on once a day as well. Yeah, so, I mean, there's an opportunity to body condition score these usual suspects. You can do the whole herd, but, you know, even do these usual suspects and there's an opportunity there to put the ones if they haven't cycled, so you know whether they've cycled or not as well, that's another thing you can find out. If they haven't cycled and they're under condition, so if they're under 2.25, there's a great opportunity to put those cows in once a day and actually give them a help to come cycling. Okay, that's three to four weeks out from the breeding season. Yeah. Now, and just before the breeding season, yeah. would you check another group of those usual suspects? You would, I suppose, to the later calvers. It's a, you know, the, that opportunity is there again. So if there's another visit three or four weeks time, why not put, it, put, these, put, put a different bunch of them in and get them checked, you know? Uh, your later calving cows, because you're really in a race against time. The longer it goes on, the you know the, the later the cow calving, the the bigger the race against time is. So it's probably even more important, to, you know, to try and hold hold these cows in the herd to take action during the breeding season as well. And the ones you treated, would you like to check them to make sure they're cured up? I would if they cured up. And the other thing is, have they come cycling? So if they haven't come, so if they were dirty, and you hopefully got a good cure from your treatment, and if they haven't come cycling, there's an opportunity there to treat them to bring them cycling then, which is a different different treatment. So the first treatment, the metric cure, is to cure the infection, and then if they haven't come cycling, the second treatment, a synchronization program, there's an opportunity there to actually bring them cycling and get get a service into them and that fixed time AI. So very clear missions. Three to four weeks out from the breeding season, clicked all those usual suspects mm -hmm. that you yeah. actually went through, mm -hmm. and you need thin cows that are actually producing quite well. Yeah. Make sure they're fully fed today. Mm -hmm. Put the ones on once a day that need to be put on once a day. Call out your vest, scan and metric check them mm -hmm. to pick out those dirty cows. You're treating them then with metric here. Yeah. Right? And then what you're saying just in before the breeding season, come back again mm -hmm. uh, to pick up the the extra ones that have become usual suspects since the last visit. Absolutely. The yep. late calvers, because they do not have time. Yeah. The late calvers and any cows you treated to make sure that they actually had cleared. As the objective here is 82% of this year's cows we need to keep them for 2021. Absolutely. So that's our advice and actions on how what to do with the usual suspects. Stay tuned. Our next big topic is going to be on heat detection and heat detection aids.